Well, all my rail fans, I'm Ken from k and the Rail Fan. So I've got another campground for y'all to go check out, another new one for us for this year uh, for my campground series. I have about 20 some videos. So we are at Old Mill Stream Campground in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, right off of Route 30. We're across the street from the Tangier Outlets and we're directly across or right next to Dutch Wonderland Amusement Park. So uh, I'm gonna do my normal, show you the amenities around the park, show you what it looks like, what the different sites look like. And it's gonna be raw because I don't have a gimbal. But uh, if you can, come with me and let's go check this out. Oh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, which is either here or here. So you know when I can put some new stuff out. But uh, let's go jump on this box here with me and check it out. So right off the office, it's shady to the left here. And this is the road that we're on. And ironically, even with how close we are to the uh, Park. The roller coaster is actually quiet. It's not that loud. But uh, there's our Brinkley Z3100. And uh, the wife getting ready to take the dogs off. This site 231. If anybody wants to see that site, the site right next to us. Look how big that site is. Bring it back just a little bit. That's a decent sized site. And ours again is uh, 35 feet. And we could actually go back a couple more feet. And this whole grassy area is between us and the next site behind us. There was a Class A over here. I just pulled out a little while ago. But again, we're, we're right in the middle of the whole park. So I walked up toward the beginning of the campground. I'll start there to show y'all. So straight ahead here, that's Route 30. And uh, to the end of the campground, you do have to come into, come into, um, through their gates, regardless. And then when you come in, you come in the middle and you go down there. That's the main office right in there with the little store. And then it splits to the right. And then also splits to the left. And if you look over there, you'll see the roller coaster for Dutch Wonderland. Uh, this is over full parking that they have right here. And you'll see the monorail, which pretty much comes right up to the fence up on the other side. But you come in off of 30, it's a busy intersection in the light. And you make a tight turn up in. You come through their gates. You bring your camper down, as explained. And you come into the main office. The main office has a very, very small store. Um, very basic amenities, some drinks, some sweatshirts and t-shirts in there. And that's also where you're going to register for your campground. Off to the right there, there's two lines where you pull your rigs in for two different rigs. That's where you stop to register, and then they'll tell you where you need to go. This building here, this is your uh, shower room and uh, some extra bathrooms and everything on the inside. And basically, they just go all the way around. Staff has been pretty nice. Um, I've got pictures of what it looked like uh, the day before because of how busy it was. Everybody pulled out here this morning, so I didn't get to film to show how busy it was. But pretty much every site here was, was packed. And they do have cabins here too. And also in this building off to the left here, they've got an arcade on the inside of there. But those lines that I was telling you about, they're right here on the front here. You can buy your firewood in here, some starters. And along the back wall down there by the creek, which we'll get to see here in a second, uh, 
there's a creek back there and uh, they still have tent camping down that area but again all the sites are pretty much off this middle road full hookups and they're pretty decent sized sites too I guess that's one good thing to show when uh, they're empty so you're not fooling people the sites are all gravel and grass and uh, you can see how wide they are that's our Brinkley right there that's 35 feet and I was able to push it back all over to the, uh, the back of the site and uh, I've got a bigger truck but I could technically still fit the whole truck and the trailer in straight without having it on the road too too much they all come with a fire pit and a picnic table and the majority of the site is all under trees which is nice so you get some shade there are some sites though that are up here that are not under the trees but you still do depending on which way the, the sun's going you still do get uh, some pretty good shade during the day during the hot weather now at the filming of this video we this we're here from september 1st till september 8th so we're coming down to the end of the season and this is another building which they have bathrooms and showers in as well they have benches all over the place where you can sit enjoy some of the scenery but again here's uh, dutch wonderland here's the big wooden roller coast that they have i've been on this once when we visited for the first time last summer but uh those of you who visit this area dutch wonderland is is an amusement park geared more toward kids because a lot of the rides are, are, are kids but this roller coaster is still one of the older wooden roller coasters in pa not saying the oldest i don't know how old it is but it's one of the older ones and it's one of the originals and if you see this other piping right here, that's the monorail. So you can watch that come by. And there's another little walkway you can walk up right alongside here and uh, head over toward the main entrance. The main entrance is a decent walk. Probably I'd say it's at least 300 yards, two football fields long because you have to go through the main castle, which is up on the main parking lot, which you can see right off of Route 30 when you come in. And uh, as we speak right now, here comes a monorail right across. It's almost like Knobles campground is right next to the, uh, the sites. The roads are all paved. Garbage to pick up over here. And again, the sites are all gravel. It's not a big campground, but they uh, they can really pack it in here. And so far, this is our second day here. It's uh, it's been a really nice campground. You can bring your dogs here. You have to have them leash and clean up after them. Alcohol is allowed on here, but uh, you have to have it on your site. You can't take it off your site. And this whole back half area here is uh, where they still have tent camping. But <laughs> last night at the time of this filming on Sunday the 1st, every one of these camp sites were packed with a, a camper. But they all left this morning. But this is the creek. I uh, saw somebody kayaking down it uh, the other day. So you can kayak, you can fish. I saw some people with some uh, fishing gear. And there's a group of geese that hang around down here too. But uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to come down this road down the back here is because this is where the playground is at. There's our Brinkley right there again. 
But again, look at these sites over here. These ones are a little bit bigger than the ones we saw. There's a lot of room here. You can get your camper if you pull it all the way up to the one side. You can get a lot of room here. And our uh, trailer is 35. And there are some bigger Class A's here, like that one right there. And some bigger uh, fifth wheels that are able to fit into these sites no problem. And all the sites are angled too, so they're they're pretty easy to get in and out of. Well, again, there's one of the can the tent sites over here. The tent sites also have a picnic table and a fire pit. But uh, we're coming up onto the uh, the playground area. Also at the uh, the main shop here they have uh, propane get your propane tanks all float up here they have ice it's pretty nice and then when you come this way here's our little playground they've got a gaga pit back there in the back slide water hookup basketball courts swings Little jungle gym over there. And there's the geese up in the back. Uh, this looks like it was going to be uh, either a pickleball or a small tennis court, but they don't have any of the nets up. The way the painting is on the on the pavement, it looks like it's uh, to me a pickleball court. They also have these little gazebos all over the place where you can go and sit and just uh, relax but uh, throughout the area here along along the creek they do have uh, benches where you can go sit and relax just watched the creek last time we got to see it uh, it's pretty nice up in the evening uh, here's their dump station Make sure he looks capped. And I believe that's their old dump station. And we have some more stuff over here along the back. So you get some of these tent sites in here under the shade, which is pretty good. Right in the heart of the Lancaster area when you're at this campground. But again, they've, they've got some pretty nice sights here. coming close here I'll take you over to the creek right here I didn't want to bother anybody in there their sites are walk through their sites it's nice and clear too there's a fish right there actually looks like it's a sucker our young carp see him moving right there Something to see. But uh, as you can see, we crossed over to the other side along the back. A lot of the amenities are down toward the back down here. The campgrounds are all in the middle. But, uh, we had people playing bags out here, or cornhole, whichever way you want to call it. 
there's enough room for that. There's enough room so the games you can have at your, your campsite. The majority of them are full hookup, water, electric, and sewer. We're on the far corner now. And then up there is where they have the cabins. Clark Street. Clark Griswold. And they have a couple of sites up there in the back that wraps around the back side. So again, they're all they're all off of uh, about four main roads here, all the way down. And they're nice big sites. Looks like where their main and shed is at is up there. We're gonna go up right through the middle here by the cabins. This tree right here, this will take you all the way down to uh, where I'm at, right down there. And this is also the street that goes straight down. That's where the general store is at. These look like full-time sites. I'm gonna guess that they may be uh, employee sites by the size of the propane tanks. Here's some of their cabins. say right there so some of their sites are kind of interesting there's two sites with one driveway kind of like this one is right here so with your camper you gotta, gotta kind of get it in either direction and then swing it back up either way it looks like the big open field that they have is their overflow parking shop and up here in the back is uh that's the cartoon network hotel it's a famous hotel they get it the cartoon network which uh isn't around anymore but they have some nice little cabins here this is a nice uh, little campground here getting to see my face right now um we found this over the Labor Day weekend, uh, checking another one off the list for Lancaster campgrounds. We've hit a lot of them, but uh, if you do get to come here, this is a nice campground. It does uh, book quick on the weekends and the holidays, and of course, probably during the summer, just for the fact it's right in the heart of Lancaster, and you have Dutch Wonderland connected right to it. As a reflection grand design. Yeah, not that big of a campground, but it's it's nice. And I said the staff has been nice so far. And we're coming back out to the uh, the end again. I basically just did the outer loop because uh, nobody's really here and you can kind of see how the sites and everything are. This is a pull through site so you can get right in and right out but you got to come in from the way we're walking. Or actually for us 
we'd come in through this way and go out the other way because of where the power box is at. So to start finishing out this video, um, it's not as packed as it was the weekend before, which was Labor Day weekend, but uh, I did want to come down this one row because it is pretty packed, just about every site's filled up, just to show you what it looks like. They're coming into their late season now, so <clears throat> Labor Day weekend is kind of like the last official weekend of camping. It's Jake Eagle. There's a cougar. It's one of the smaller ones. But you can see the, and a little clip I showed you before, they're not right on top of one another. You have enough room to put out your slides and your awning. There's the cabins I showed you again. Big class A. So like I was saying at the beginning of the video, you can fit uh, Big fifth wheels in here. It's big Montana. <clears throat> With room to spare. So if you want to let your overhang go a little bit more on the, on the back end, you can push it a little bit more. What? I see him. Big Fleetwood Class A. Clock Street. We kind of went back that way at the beginning. Get rooted up by the cabins. The bighorn's still here. Showed you everything to the left of the campground where we were before. So I'm just kind of taking up. The middle here yeah it's not a very big campground but it's it's nice if you can get a spot in here it's uh, really nice we're still surprised we got one over labor day our weekend of 2024 and we got it for the whole week i know i'm taking a look at it right now my wife just pointed out that big super c right there in one of the sites. And a big horn. We actually looked at a big horn before we brought our Brinkley. And the thing that I liked about it, that model that we looked at, it had a really wide and deep pass through on the front. It was really nice. Wow, that's a super C. What was that one made by? Performance FS. It's got a big uh, Freightliner. Cascada Freightliner. That's a nice rig. How are you? Doing all right. <clears throat> So yeah, you can fit all sorts of uh, sizes in here. That's a nice rig. There's no name on the side of it though, so we can't figure out what it was. We're just still talking about that uh, Super C. And they do have a lot of your smaller sites for your smaller rigs. Mobile Suites. There's a 
imagine down there. And across the way though, that's our road right there. It's a nice Sierra right there too. And they have a whole turnaround section here. What's that? Chevrolet, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, that's the campground, everybody. It's nice. You get a chance to come here, come on and check it out. Hello, my rail fans. Giving you all a different good morning today. Coming to you from Old Mill Stream Campground in Lamperter Township, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's a nice, cool morning here with all the campers. And we're right next to Dutch Wonderland, who happens to own this campground as well. Uh, you all have a good Saturday. Enjoy the day. And get out there and check something out. All right, everybody, that's the end of our adventure here at Old Mill Stream Campground at Dutch Wonderland. Uh, I hope you liked what you saw here at this campground. Come check it out. It's a really nice place. Um, not that big, but can accommodate your larger... RVs to include Class A's, full hookups. It's right next to Dutch Wonderland, which is right there. And uh, Strasburg Railroad is right down the road. Lots of restaurants and shopping districts around here. And you're about 30 minutes away from Hershey Park and the Hershey area. But uh, come on down, check it out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Until next time, I'll see you down the road.